Uh, my name is Kurt Weaver. I'm 33. I'm originally from Columbus, Ohio. I'm Leah Berard. I'm 33 years old and I live in St. Paul, Minnesota. Uh, Mike Kelly. I'm 27. I'm from Philadelphia. Sure. My name is Jim Rogers. I am from Boston but live in Philadelphia. When did you start refereeing? I started refereeing in 2005. Um, I started refereeing because uh, I was always kind of a student of the game and I always thought I knew more than referees. So at the end of a game, I kind of called out a referee at the end, this big Irish guy. Uh -huh. and I told him I knew more about rugby than he did and he uh, challenged me to take the level one. And I did and I kind of went like, hey, I did it. What now? And he handed me a whistle and he said, gotcha. And then, um, what made you decide to referee in the first place? Uh, I love playing so much, but it was a great way to stay involved. I'm not as sore the next day. Um, I get to travel all over the place. There's a lot of upside to refereeing, and uh, I also love being able to provide a fun game for 30 people rather than just myself out there playing. So, you have ever a game where you're like, "This is awesome! I want to referee forever!" Like that aha moment. Uh, yeah, pretty much the first game I ever refed. Uh, I just felt really comfortable doing it, um, and I liked helping the sport. I liked to be in the middle of the game, doing a lot of decision making, solving problems. This is the type of person I am, so it's a really good fit for me. Uh, I'm Ed Todd and I'm the director of the referee department uh, with responsibilities of supporting our volunteers across the country. Very cool. And so there was a course this past weekend, a level three course. Can you tell us a little bit about the course, what happened, who was there? Sure. The level three course is the most advanced uh, course that the IRB put out uh, for referees who have reached a certain stage of development. It's an invitational course only. And so the participants that are over there this weekend, which is the first of two weekends with a lot of homework in between, uh, we're all there invited because they have reached that stage of development. Uh, most of them are either on what we term the focus group or just a step away from the focus group. So they're fairly high standard of uh, capabilities already. For example, um, Leah Berard, who's from Minnesota, uh, is now been identified by the IRB as one of the top three women sevens referees in the world. And she'll be going to Dubai, Singapore, Rio de Janeiro, and Ottawa between now and January, participating in sevens events. So it's important for the for referees to reach these higher levels, but with the game growing so much, is there a need for overall referee growth on all levels? Absolutely. The, the game is uh, growing rapidly, especially the age grade, under 19, under 15, and so on. Uh, and there's a saying that there's never a game played that isn't refereed. So it's really important to us to reach out to the SBROs, to the you know, colleges, to uh, recruit more younger, fitter, faster referees into our game, because that's the way it's going. one thing to someone that's considering to be a referee, what would you tell them? Come on, do it. We need more and more referees. There's more and more people playing the game every day, and we need people to referee those games, and it's a blast. And you get to do stuff like this, so it's a lot of fun. Um, what would you say to people out there that are thinking about being a referee? Do it. Pick up the whistle. Uh, we need more referees. It doesn't matter what level it's at, whether it's 10-year-old kids who are just starting off, whether it's international men. It doesn't matter what it is. We need referees. Without referees, we don't have a game. Thank you.